today vlog we are going to Cheltenham at home Luke Southwood coming back to his boyhood team um, player that a lot of running fans wanted to stay um, I was very iffy about him staying but you know tonight he's going to have an absolute worldie seen the lineup we have made seven changes to the team against Port Vale which means that the boss is pissed off with players um, and I love it and love seeing the big bollocks that he's got Last season, he would have kept the team all the way through it, but this season, he hasn't. So, seven changes. We're going to make our way there, and when we get there, me and my brother will be able to do our predictions for it. See you guys. <laughs> Ready to go. Just arrived. We've got 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah. 20, 20 minutes till kick off. Score prediction, go. I'm going to say 3 1 Reading, but I'm not going to say he's going to score. So 3 1 to fucking anyone. Uh, I'm going to go 2 0. I think button in goal is going to turn into prime Buffon. I think our defence has got Paolo Maldini at the back. Now that we've made seven changes, what do you think of the seven changes? I'm happy with it, to be honest. It, shows, it makes a statement to show that no one's, no one's got their spot secured, and I like that. All I say is, this man has got balls of steel. Yep. Last season, as I think I said earlier in the video, that if it was last season, Paul Lynch would have carried on playing them and then gone, they'll be fine, that's all we've got. But he's gone, no, no, we're going to try the youth. They did well against Millwall. Seven changes. Hopefully we come out of this with a win. But I see you guys at half time. For you'll see stuff that happens during the game. I'll do a little bit here and there, but not too much. But you'll hear my reactions at half time. Time one nil as you can see, fucking great first half, was it not? Yeah, really, really good football. Oh, yes, we are by a toilet as you can see. The toilet is there. The shitter. To be fair, I do need a shit. Anyway, um, yeah, one nil, very good first half. A lot of press. And Bugu's or cheeseburger man, you know, I call him because I can never pronounce. And you guys in the comments keep telling me I'm saying it wrong. And you try and help me say it, but I still get it wrong. But anyway. Um, very good and he's, he's sprinted from our own box to defend as well did a really good performance there midfield looks nice um, defending looks beautiful I said this as well before if did I did I not tell you if McIntyre and Holmes were playing we'd be 3-0 down by now yeah because Nelson Abbey's strength and pace has really helped him uh, Tyler Binton I think his name is has done really well hold on to that for a sec um, Tyler Binton's been doing hands going fucking freezing um, it's doing really really well half time thoughts go uh, yeah, very, very good performance so far. We're pressing really well. We're dealing with their counters even better. Um, overall, good performances. Just missing that bit of end product in the end. That's the only thing I can say. We're creating the chances. We just need to get a bit more confidence behind us in the goal and start it's Tyler. It's, it's, Callum, it's Cameron Vickers' goal. We're going to keep it at that. There was no deflection. Uh, there was nothing. Um, and to all the people, I want to say this now, and to all the people in the comments that were roasting me for saying Southwood shouldn't be here anymore, <laughs> I 
I love having this last laugh shit. Normally I'm really wrong. But yeah, right, second half's about to start. If I could get any footage of the second half to see it. If not, you'll see us walk into the car and we will give you our full-time thoughts. But overall, loving this. The first team team that we had last season or the things that started Port Vale wouldn't be able to do this. So this team is suited to Ruben Celes and I'm loving it. And that man has got the biggest bollocks ever. Oh, and by the way, Tim Deller, if you have another go at Ruben Celes because he doesn't want to suck your cock, I would pipe down my <laughs> I would say. I thought we played really, really well. We are still lacking that final third, that final je ne sais quoi, shall we say. Players look like they're gelling and they're getting there. What is your final thoughts? Good performance. I feel like we could have had about two or three there, but still, I'm happy. It's three, it's three points. We haven't had that in a while. Yeah, so that was a great win. And on to Saturday against Stevenage. Going to be another tough game, but that ends the run of 15 games without a win, the longest in the club's history, so that's done. That will gain more confidence for the players. Now I'm a believer! I might get copyrighted, so I'll see Right, you we're now going to do our player ratings for the game. So David Button, let's do it out of 10. What would you give David Button out of 10? I was there seven. Didn't do anything wrong, didn't do anything. Didn't have to make any like spectacular saves. Yep, I agree with that. And then we have right back, we had Cheeseburger Man. I would give him that's eight. Yeah, I agree with that. Pace well. was so much in our favour today, and he did a lot for us. So I'm going to give him an eight. Would you still agree with that? Yeah. Right, Nelson Abbey. Nine, in my opinion. Didn't step yeah. foot. Maybe one thing at the end, but came to nothing. He dealt with everything really yeah. well. Man of the match for me. Yeah, same. Um, Tyler Binton. I'll give him an eight. I'm going to give him a seven. I'm going to give him an eight because he did... He helped out when he needed to, yeah. and he did what he needed to do. And then left back Matty Carson, I'll Seven. give him, I'll yeah. give him an eight. Absolutely superb player he is. Shocked me. Shocked me how good he really was. Sorry, we weren't quite there. Just had to try and fucking cross a road where there's loads of fucking cars. Um, so eight for me. Seven for you. Next one. Wing. Oh. Seven? Six? Seven? I'd say, I'd say six. I would six. Say six. He didn't do much, but he, he did what he needed to do. Very yeah. lively in midfield. Him and Savage. I'll give Savage a seven. Yeah, I'll give Savage a seven. Um, very lively. Right, we've got to cross the fucking road before we die. Uh, very lively. Did what they needed to do. And got the job done. Next up. Kamara. I'll give him an eight. I'm gonna give him a seven. I'll give him an eight. I think I'm very generous in how I rate players. Um, I'll give him an eight because I think his pace, power, and the skill he had. He, the only thing with him is his end product. So I think seven's probably fair. His end product was just wasn't there. Next up, Nibs. So I'm gonna give a six. Yeah, I think I agree with that. He didn't really do much during the game, but he was lively when he was pressing and closing down. I just I need to see more for him going forward. Um, and you see more for him alright mate you probably got a voxel um, doing forward so oh, yeah I agree with that I just want to see more of him moving forward next up for you Vickers which I'm going to give a 7 now we need to look at the bench as well the yeah. players that come on so let's rate them as well well I'm going to give Vickers a 7.5 we're going 0.5 now okay. alright I, I agree with that I give him a 7.5 yeah good skillful made the goal got the goal did really well um, overall, really good, promising, really good, promising player as well. So happy with that. And then the last one, Kelvin. Kelvin. I'm going to give him a seven, honestly. Yeah, I think he did well. A few of his touches and passes were a bit behind him. So he struggled with a few bits and pieces. But overall, I thought he did good. 
Um, and then we're going to go with the bench now. So first, you go McIntyre. I'm going to give him a, a size. Generous. Yeah, I'll give him a size. All right, I'll give him a four. I thought he did all right with headers, but he was caught out so much in that second half. It was very worrying when he come on. Next up. He needs to do this is as I said at the beginning of the season when we were doing build up for it. This is his season to stamp his pace in the team. This is his season to show people how good he is, and he's just not doing it. So I agree with that one. And they got a year to him. I'm gonna give him a six, he did the job, he didn't expect a few sloppy passes here and there. Though. Yeah, I agree with that. I could be really agree with that. And then we've got Hutchison, I'm gonna give him a seven again. I think I'll give him a seven because Brexit yeah. means fucking Brexit and he, he knows what Brexit danger. means. He's so yep. kept calm. Last one at least Tuma. Yeah, um, Basil Tuma. Uh, I am gonna give him a six. I think he's rapid and I think Few sloppy passes he did. We can utilize, but just again, we'll give, we'll give these youth players time to get used to League One football. Yeah, and he, a big you, step up. He, he did make a few sloppy passes as well, so it was a bit worrying. But at the same time, he dealt with what he needed to, and he'll try not to die. And yeah, so that is the end of the video. Thank you guys for joining me and my brother. We're going to Reading v Charlton. Hey, stop walking into me, or oh, I've throw over the barricade in a minute um so yeah thank you guys ever so much for joining me today we'll see you guys oh fuck i've got to go over a wall next time oh shit <laughs>